today we are going to be drawing a Nexonite sword and I'm starting by drawing the pommel which is just a square with rounded sides and then we'll draw the grip or the hilt of the sword so we're going to draw two parallel lines and on the top of the grip of the sword we're going to start to draw the guard and the guard is a square shape right here but instead of having pointed corners, we're going to draw in angles to give this square a little different look. The next step would be to draw your blade. And I'm drawing in some very light lines because I want to make sure I can get these lines as straight as possible before I draw a darker line on top of it. And both of these lines will come to a point right about here. Okay, now I'm going to go over the lines with a little heavier lead so that we can see the blade. And there we have it. And the next thing I want to do is to finish off the guard on this sword. So I'm drawing two angling lines up and I'm connecting them with a straight line. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to draw two angling lines down and connect it with a straight line. And then once I have this finished, I'll go ahead and add in the center detail of this guard. And this sword has kind of a medallion in the center of, of the guard. So to draw that medallion, we're going to just go ahead and, and draw a circle right here. And we'll just draw that circle. And then inside of that circle, we'll draw another smaller circle. So here we have the basic shape of the sword. The next thing we need to do is to add the detail to the top of the sword. And I'm going to draw two parallel lines outward on the top of the sword here. This sword has some hexagonal shapes in it, and we will do that as soon as we get the parallel lines drawn. Now that we've added our parallel lines and the tip of our blade, we're going to go ahead and draw in those hexagonal shapes. And I'm doing that now by drawing little angled lines up and then connecting them by a straight line. And we'll do the same thing on the bottom half as well. Right here, I'm going to draw an angled line and an angled line and then connect it with a straight line and do the same thing here connect it with a straight line, an angled line, and an angled line, and then connect it with another straight line. There we have the details, just about finished. We'll just add uh, some centers here on each design, and when we have those completed, we'll go ahead and outline our sword and color it. Now, if for any reason you need to pause this video and review some of the steps, be sure to do that so that you can draw your Nexonite sword too. All right, we're finished here. I'm just going to outline next and color.
Thanks everyone for joining me today. If you liked this video, please click the like button and subscribe for notifications to all of my new videos every Monday through Friday. Thank you for watching today, guys. Have a wonderful day. Happy drawing and see you next time.